All right, hello everyone. I'd like to welcome you to today's virtual event, Dynamics 365 Service 2023 Wave 2 Release Webinar. My name is Erin and I'll be your moderator today. We are broadcasting this session through Teams Live events and the audio can be heard through your device, device speakers. The session is being recorded on behalf of the Microsoft Corporation. When you join this event, your name, email address, and or phone number may be viewable by other session participants in the Q&A panel. By joining, you are agreeing to this experience. Attendees, you can, you can access the on-demand recording from today via the same link that you used to register for today's event. If you have questions for the presenters or need support, please, please use the Q&A panel located on the right side of your screen. Our presenters will be responding to your questions throughout the presentation with some time for some verbal Q&A at the end. Thank you for your patience during these announcements. I would now like to pass to Kat Taylor, Senior Program Manager at Microsoft. Kat, the floor is yours. Thanks, Erin. Hello, and welcome to the Dynamics 365 Customer Service and Field Service Webinar on what's new in Release Wave 2 2023, October and beyond. I'm Kat Taylor, Program Manager for Customer Service Readiness, and I'm joined by Keith Hill, Program Manager for Field Service. We're excited to share how we're modernizing the service experience with some of the great features in this release. I'll be kicking things off by talking about the customer journey and challenges that many business leaders face as they give customer service agents and field service technicians the best tools to do their jobs. Then I'll discuss how we're making better experiences for agents, technicians, managers, admins, and customers with the features in this release. I'll be discussing some of the key focus areas in customer service and sharing several of this release's most impactful features, including a few demos. Then Keith will discuss key focus areas in field service with the latest features in this wave. He'll be wrapping things up and we'll have some time at the end for Q&A. We also have some colleagues monitoring the chat as we present, so please feel free to ask your questions in the chat at any time. Within the next week, we'll make the recording and slide deck for this webinar available through the registration page. That way you can read over some of the slides and check out some of the specific feature related links when it's convenient for you. First off, customers are the key to every business. So let's do a quick run through of the customer journey. When a customer needs quick answers, they often try to look up the answer on their own using community portals, knowledge articles, or conversational IVR or chatbots. For complex issues that need more expertise, the customer is routed to the best suited agent through intelligent AI-based routing. Agents have a full 360 view of the customer profile, context, sentiment analysis, and history. Using AI-assisted tools and collaboration, Agents can provide personalized and contextual support to resolve customer issues. As the very last step, if the customer needs further assistance that requires on-site support, a work order is generated from a case and resource, resource scheduling optimization assigns the best skilled and closest frontline worker. Field service empowers frontline workers with tools to increase their first time fix rate, including the mobile app, remote assist, and guides 2D. Work orders can also be triggered through IoT alerts, and customers can schedule on-site appointments through self-service. Now, you can reimagine how you deliver service with next-generation AI. You can better personalize the service experience for your customers with seamless omni-channel engagement and AI-powered self-service experiences. You can make work easier and more effortless for your frontline workers by accelerating issue resolution and enhancing workforce productivity driven by AI and collaboration. You can optimize your operations by getting proactive visibility, driving efficiency and transforming operations with AI powered intelligence and automation. Service is at the core of customer experience. Customer loyalty depends heavily on the service they receive with 83% of people surveyed agreeing that great service will turn them into lifetime shoppers. Even one instance of poor service is enough for them to take their business elsewhere, with 96% of people surveyed saying they'll leave a business that delivers poor service. However, when customer service is done well, the impact on the business can be significant. Studies have shown that market share can grow by 180% for companies that are customer obsessed. 
And according to a recent Forrester study, organizations that empower agents to solve problems on first contact could see an incremental $7 billion in revenue. Dynamics 365 customer service offers exceptional value for every person involved in the customer journey. Customers have an easier time finding the answers they're looking for when organizations enable intelligent conversational bots that provide human-like support. The chatbots are able to resolve cases more efficiently, leaning on trusted websites, knowledge articles, and internal support content. Support agents are increasing their productivity thanks to new generative AI capabilities that give them more context about customer inquiries, as well as highly effective access to knowledge and the ability to collaborate with subject matter experts in a seamless way. Supervisors have more visibility into their organization's operations so they can fine tune their training and onboarding systems and make general process improvements. Lastly, with agents and supervisors being able to work more efficiently, service leaders will benefit from increased automation that drives efficiency, which will ultimately lower costs and drive CSAT. More than half of our capabilities are driven by AI designed to help you succeed in customer service. Here you can see how customer service and field service support the customer journey, meeting customers on the channel of their choice. Starting with self-service, customers can get quick answers from community portals, company knowledge, and connected field service. If they can't find what they need, their caller message is moved through a unified routing system to connect them to the best suited agent to help them. Supervisors have access to a robust set of out-of-the-box analytics, as well as customizable reports and third-party data. For example, the ability to connect to workforce engagement management. Connected field service enables supervisors to perform predictive maintenance and remote monitoring and enable remote assist where applicable. Now let's get into some of this wave's customer service features. We released dozens of new features and capabilities in wave two, and I encourage you to check out the complete customer service release plan. You can view the full list of features at aka.ms slash CS 2023 wave two. Here, I'm going to focus on some key features and release wave two that will help transform and modernize your digital contact center. First, we are revolutionizing customer service with next generation AI capabilities. Agents can now use Copilot to diagnose customer issues, get help drafting email, and summarize cases and conversations. Copilot automates time consuming tasks and helps agents resolve issues more efficiently so they can focus on delivering high quality service to their customers. In short, Copilot empowers each agent to become your best agent. We've also made it possible for agents to chat with customers over Microsoft Teams, even if the customer doesn't have a Teams license. As you may remember from last wave, Microsoft Teams chat can be embedded in Dynamics 365 customer service to make it easier for agents to solve complex cases without context switching to an outside app. This powerful capability helps a seamless experience for agents chatting with customers, as well as subject matter experts with features like customer support swarming. Teams chats also appear on the connected records timeline in Dynamics 365 customer service, offering context to other people in the company who want to review the case. We also have an enhanced inbox experience to make agents work easier and new ex administrator experiences to monitor system health and improve automatic case creation. We're continuing to invest in providing an extensive set of unified routing capabilities. And in this release, those who include the ability to configure agent-specific capacity profiles, route calls to agents who are least active, and use the Get Agent Availability API for unauthenticated chats. Copilot's generative AI capabilities are driving new levels of productivity and efficiency in the customer service space. In October, we made several exciting Copilot capabilities generally available to help contact centers run more smoothly. First, agents can ask, a co ask Copilot a question through a conversational interface that helps them diagnose customer issues and conduct research. Copilot uses knowledge specified by your organization and provides answers in natural language. Instead of spending hours searching for the right resource or subject matter expert, 
Agents can use Copilot to get answers in minutes. Copilot can also create intelligent email responses using a set of out of the box prompts or custom prompts tailored to your organization's needs. Agents can simply generate the email, review it, and send it to the customer. Also generally available in October, historical analytics reports provide a comprehensive view of Copilot specific metrics and insights. Supervisors can use this data to understand the impact of their organization's investments in AI. And generally available since September, the ability to summarize cases and conversations saves agents valuable time on note taking and bringing others up to speed on various points in the customer journey. First, agents can use the Copilot conversational interface within customer service workspace to answer quest ask questions and get help researching diagnosing customer issues. Agents can ask questions in natural language and receive responses that a generative model synthesizes based on internal knowledge sources and trusted sites. They can also copy the responses, view sources, and ask follow-up questions to improve the response output and provide direct feedback. For agents who respond to customers via email, Copilot can help the agent draft an email response. This feature considers previous emails from the customer and applies relevant Dataverse data, including the customer's information and relevant knowledge articles. The agent can choose from predefined prompts to tell Copilot what kind of email they want to send, such as suggest a call or request more information, and they can use a custom prompt for more complex scenarios. With just a click, they can generate an email response that's tailored to the customer. Once again, the agent saves valuable time and the customer receives an answer quicker than ever before. Supervisors and customer service managers can use the Copilot report and customer service historical analytics to identify the impact that Copilot is having on their customer service organization. We're storing the interaction data in the customer's Dataverse instance and using that same data to provide out of the box reports, which will make it even easier to understand how Copilot is being used and its impact on track support metrics. Managers can see how often agents use Copilot to respond to customers, the number and percentage of case resolutions that involved Copilot, the amount of time spent on a case resolution, the duration of the conversations where Copilot plays a role, and more. Agents can also rate custom Copilot responses so managers have a better understanding of how Copilot is helping to improve customer service and the overall impact on their organization. AI-generated summaries help agents quickly wrap up conversations, share context with colleagues, and catch up on what happened. Teams don't have to spend time writing summaries or skimming conversations to get context. Agents can generate automatic summaries of conversations in the structure and style that makes sense for their organization. Whether it's in the handoff from a virtual agent, during a consult, or at the end of a conversation, conversation summaries capture the most important highlights, meaning agents no longer need to scroll up through the conversation or ask a customer the same question twice. For long running cases, we've heard a lot of feedback that it can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to ramp up on a case. We're aiming to shave time off that process and bring this down to a few minutes so agents can get up to speed on a case which consists of multiple notes, emails, and details from previous interactions. The case summary is available in a single click on the case form and you can expand and collapse it and see all the highlights from the case. The Copilot summarization features are by far the most popular with organizations who previewed and started using Copilot in the last few months. So let's watch a demo and see how easy it is to get up and running. As we rolled out Copilot and Dynamics 365 customer service to our colleagues in the Support Experience Group and Microsoft Support, we received feedback that agents needed a fast and simple way to ramp up on cases and conversations. In days, our teams came together to design, validate, and build two powerful new Copilot capabilities to help agents get a jump start on their cases and conversations. First, let's look at Copilot case summaries. 
With case summaries, all an agent has to do is open a case and right on the case, they'll see a summary card from Copilot that sums up key information from the case and the case timeline. That means no more digging and scrolling through case forms and timelines to figure out what a case is all about. Next, we have Copilot conversation summaries. Whether they're joining a conversation, consulting a colleague, or wrapping up a case, agents often spend several minutes reading and summarizing customer conversations. Now with Copilot, agents can get rich summaries of their conversations on demand or automatically when they join, transfer, or end a conversation. Through our close collaboration with the Software Experience Group and Microsoft support, we've learned how it can take an Azure support engineer up to 45 minutes to get up to speed on a complex case today. So we've designed our Copilot case and conversation summaries so agents can read and understand them in under a minute. And that means agents can now focus their time and energy on what matters most, delivering fast, world-class service. As we roll Moving on to Microsoft Teams integration, the Join the Teams call feature lets agents quickly connect with customers, regardless of whether the customer has a Microsoft Teams license. During an active conversation, the agent can move the call or chat to Microsoft Teams. For agents to use this feature, administrators must enable it and ensure the appropriate agents have a Teams license. If you want to invite customers to Teams meetings via email, your email configuration must also be set up to allow outbound mail. When this feature is enabled, agents can invite customers to chat on Teams via the productivity pane in Customer Service Workspace. The customer receives the link to join the Teams chat in a message or email. Then on Teams, they can use screen sharing, video chat, and co-browse to offer more personalized support to customers. We're also improving various other aspects of the agent experience, including the agent inbox. Help your agents increase their productivity by giving them the ability to manage their work from the inbox. The inbox now displays the unified routing enabled records, live chats, and voice calls alongside cases, emails, voicemails, and asynchronous chats. All this is in a single view, so agents have an easier time finding the work item they're looking for. Agents can also enable filters to show only the items they want to see in their inbox. Now we'll watch a short video that focuses on entities enabled by unified routing in the inbox. Hello everyone, Inbox now supports unified routing enabled entities. This video will showcase both the administrator as well as the agent experience. Mona is the administrator for Contoso Coffee. She wants to configure the inbox for her agents and navigates to agent experience profile that she has created for her agents. She scrolls down to the inbox section and clicks on edit. The agents at Contoso Coffee manage bookings for their coffee shop using booking alert entity. They also use tasks entity to track and complete work. Mona clicks on add to add a new view. She adds the name as my records and click on record type. She then selects booking alert and task from the dropdown. Both the entities are added and now Mona can configure the settings for each one of them. For booking alert, she chooses advanced settings as she wants to show alerts where priority is either high or normal. For task, she wants all tasks to be displayed so in these simple settings, Mona chooses all assigned, open and closed options from the settings. She then clicks on save to save the settings. She then clicks on save and close. My records view is now available to agents added in this agent experience profile. Caleb is one of the agents that work for Contoso Coffee. Caleb opens his inbox and sees that there are a few records that needs his attention. The first item is a high priority booking alert from Claudia. He checks the availability in his register offline and reserves a table. The next item is a task to send an email reminder to one of the customers. Caleb is happy that with Inbox, all his work can be managed from a single place. 
थैंक यू हेलो ऑन टू एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एक्सपीरियंसेस Many organizations are set up such that when they get an email, phone call or message from a customer, their system automatically creates a case. This helps automate repetitive tasks so agents can concentrate on more customer focused work. The new activity monitor in Dynamics 365 Customer Service Admin Center helps administrators diagnose automatic case creation issues and ensures that automation runs smoothly. When an incoming work item isn't converted to a case, they can see the reason and get a recommendation for how to fix the issue. These recommendations help administrators avoid future case creation issues by making changes to the rule configuration. Now let's watch a quick demo on the activity monitor tool. Hello everyone. This video presents the latest enhancements brought to the activity monitor tool that will help administrators to self-diagnose case creation issues using automatic record creation rules. In Customer Service Admin Center, under Customer Support Overview page, administrators can view the count of activity monitor events with their states for the past seven days. Clicking on it, they get to view the emails or tasks for which case creation got skipped, failed, or succeeded with ready for power automate execution state. For each of the events, they can also view the recommendations that provides them with the resolution steps. They can hover over to see the full recommendation or double click to navigate to activity monitor form for that event. Here they can view recommendations field, which provides them the reason why case creation was skipped or failed and the steps they should take to resolve these issues. Some of these also contain direct links to the advanced settings of the relevant automatic record creation rule, where configuration changes are suggested. For example, here case creation was skipped for this email because the email was received from an unknown sender. To allow case creation for emails that are arriving from unknown senders, the administrator can directly navigate to the advanced settings of the applicable automatic record creation rule and turn on the setting, allow emails from unknown senders, and select whether a new contact should be created automatically or needs to be mapped in Power Automate manually. As we see, using the recommendations offered by the tool, administrators can make necessary configuration changes and resolve the issues related to automatic record creation. Thank you. In a similar vein, now admins can use the integrated health checker to identify errors and warnings in their customer service environment and get suggestions on how to fix them. Some examples of errors include automatic record creation not updating or not working and SLA risks and failures that aren't being monitored. It also tells you if the current default queue is inactive, meaning the routing rules won't work, or a specific queue doesn't have agents, so conversations can't be routed to it. It also identifies work streams with no intake rules, which is another case where conversations can't be routed. Identifying issues like these and more with health checks running in the background, contact centers can proactively identify issues so they can operate at optimal levels. Now let's see how this works. Integrated health check runs a set of rules that we define based on the highest SR count we collected from multiple teams across multiple areas like UR, ARC, and SLA. The idea is that we proactively try to identify a misconfiguration that's in their current settings and provide them like a mitigation steps. This self-serve feature will help them to identify issues early, which will result in reducing the ICM risk by then. The UI of Integrated Health Check is located on the home page of the CSAC. As you can see, a contact center health session is being added on the home page, which gives you the number of errors and warnings and suggestions from the previous health run. So we register uh, these health rules and initiate a health run by default once the 9.4 solutions are installed or upgraded. As you can see, 
I already created different errors and warnings on different rules. Rule can be there's no agent in the queue, no valid assignments, no watching has no intake rule, default queue is inactive. There's some wrong, something wrong with the arc rule creation. Um, there are some warnings like uh, some legacy rule are still in use. Um, let me take an example. We want to fix this. Um, no agents in the queue. So clicking on the rule will oh, expand the rule, which will give you the details of what this rule is about, as well as uh, some mitigation way to fix the issue. So as you can see, this queue does not have the user. So or agents, so click on the queues link should open up the new tab and then navigate to the queues page where I can add the user or agents to the queue. So for example, I add the agent to the queue. Now this issue should be fixed. So when I come back to this uh, contact help the homepage and then I try to rerun this rule. As you can see, um, the run is async in the background and you will see a successful toast at the top right corner stating the health report is ready. But while you are waiting for the health run to complete, you can either further address other issues on the page from the previous run, or you can just navigate to other places as you like. Um, you can come back later to check if the job is completed or not by checking the uh, if the button is still disabled or the last run timestamps. Um, I also, as you can see, it says the health report is ready and then that no agent in the queue rule was disappeared because there's no such errors anymore. So I also provisioned a fresh order to demonstrate how the UI will look like with a successful state, which means there's no uh, errors and warning and suggestion and then you can check the timestamp based on the last round. So that's it. So this concludes our demo for the integrated health check features. Another key area of investment is in our unified routing capabilities, which ensure that incoming conversations get picked up by available agents with the most appropriate knowledge and skills. Agent-specific capacity profiles let administrators and supervisors fine-tune the work allocation based on an agent's experience and expertise, optimizing agent performance and delivering tailored customer service. Some scenarios where you'd want to use agent-specific capacity profiles include having agents that vary in experience and skill set, or you need to establish an upper limit on the amount of work assigned to the agents, or the incoming work items have varying degrees of complexity and they're coming in from different channels. Now let's watch a demo of agent-specific capacity profiles. Hello. In this video, we will see how Contoso Bank leverages their customer service agents' expertise and experience to optimize agent utilization and improve agent satisfaction. At Contoso, senior or proficient agents can handle more conversations compared to junior agents for the same work type. Casey is the customer service director at Contoso Bank. She is looking for ways to enable senior agents to take on more work so that junior agents who joined Contoso recently can spend more time on training and on board sooner. Casey learns about agent-specific capacity profiles capability in Dynamics 365 Customer Service, a new feature that allows allocating different quotas or concurrent conversation limits to the agents. Casey wants to try this feature for credit card queries in the North America region. She identifies Kiana, a senior agent at Contoso, and Henry, a junior agent who is relatively new to the organization. In the Customer Service Admin Center, she navigates to the Enhanced User Management Experience and assigns the Capacity Profile, Credit Card Americas, to both. At this time, both users get the profile with default work item limit of two. Next, Casey updates Kiana's custom limit to three conversations per day, given her seniority. This change only impacts Kiana, but not Henry, and he remains with the default limit of two conversations per day. Few days later, Contoso starts receiving high volume of insurance-related queries. Kazi wants Kiana to handle these queries in addition to the credit card ones. So, Casey decides to reset Kiana's work limit for the credit card profile back to the default limit. 
she sets the custom limit as empty and saves the changes. With this feature, Casey can easily manage changing business requirements and variable workload while also keeping agents happy. Hello. Next, least active routing, formerly known as most idle routing, is an assignment strategy that ensures the work is distributed to agents in an equitable way. This method assigns conversations to agents based on how long ago they ended their last conversation. It gives agents who are working on longer or more complex conversations a chance to take a break while distributing the new conversations to other agents. The least active routing assignment method is currently available only for voice channel queues and is the default selection for new voice queues. Least active routing can also be used as an order by condition in the custom assignment methods. Agent capacity data is available as a dataverse entity and organizations can build custom reports to better understand the functionality of this assignment method. Lastly, organizations can now use the Get Agent Availability API to determine agent availability and offer live chat options only if agents are available. Developers can use this API to determine whether the Start Conversation option should be visible to the customer and also for displaying information such as wait time and position in queue. The Get Availab Agent Availability method surfaces agent availability, operating hours, and other information for a queue. This information is determined by the routing and assignment rules established during unified routing setup. Get agent availability can be used for both authenticated and unauthenticated chats. So I'll end this segment with a diagram of how everything fits together in the Microsoft Digital Contact Center. Customers can reach out using a variety of channels. They can also self-serve through chatbots equipped with conversational AI. Conversations are routed through an intelligent routing system. And when they see, receive an incoming conversation, agents have the collaboration tools they need at their fingertips to give customers the best assistance. And analytics and health checks help supervisors and admins continue fine tuning the contact center. The platform is also cloud scale and elastic to accommodate changing demands like contact volume, agent counts, wait times, and service levels without impacting performance. Now I'll hand it over to Keith to tell us about what's new in field service. Thank you, Kat. Give me just a second here. Let me switch this. <laughs> field service and customer service are two essential aspects of any business that provides uh, products or services to customers. By connecting your field service technicians and your customer service agents, you can improve your customer experience, increase your operational efficiency, and enhance your employees' productivity and satisfaction. When you combine field service and customer service, you are really creating a unified and holistic view of your customers and that enables you to deliver superior service experiences to them, which drives customer satisfaction and loyalty. There we go. It was giving me a little bit of a kick up there. I want to take a moment here and pause to say that we are continuing to innovate and transform our customer service and field service platforms. This innovation is being recognized not only by our customers and partners, but also from independent analyst research firms like IDC. IDC recently published the Marketscape uh, for Service Lifecycle Management, which includes aspects for field service and customer service. Microsoft's combined customer and field service solutions is placed as a leader in the top position for, stri for stri uh, strategy and is um, a strong placement in capability. Wave 2 is helping to deliver on that uh, strategy and enhance capabilities. Now, before we start talking about all the new features in field service, I want to take a few moments here and talk about a new era that is enabled by AI. 
In this new AI era, we'll move away from the traditional reactive approach of field service operations and drive into a proactive future. This transformation is powered by AI, which plays a pivotal role in reshaping how business and customer experiences are managed. The next generation of business applications will lead us on this path, revolutionizing sales, marketing, customer service, field service, supply chain management, and so much more. These changes extend beyond technology. They redefine how we deliver service to the end user, thus fundamentally altering how companies engage with their customers. AI emerges as the driving force propelling us forward to heightened productivity and efficiencies, particularly within the field service domain. Field service essentially combines four solutions to help organizations proactively detect, troubleshoot, and resolve issues. By combining IoT, AI, and field service operations, several key advantages emerge. IoT enables remote device troubleshooting and proactive scheduling based on predictive or anomalous events. This ensures that your critical systems perform at optimal levels at all times. Generative AI further enhances this by empowering work order related tasks such as work order summaries, keeping the customers informed, and ensuring that the right technician is dispatched only when needed. Let's take a quick look at how AI is impacting everybody. Now, we all know customers are demanding self-service options that empower them to resolve issues and answer questions on their own. At the same time, dispatchers need better tools to assist with compl complicated scheduling tasks, which would help them resolve customer problems faster. Frontline workers find it hard to uh, have holistic view into the customer assets based on the work orders that are assigned to them. Having an easy way to review service history would help them identify repair trends that might point to a larger issue, thus preventing uh, future downtimes. And for their field service managers, they need time-saving tools that allow them to easily update customers on issues, resolutions, while, uh, while enabling them to grasp the overall complexity within the, the work orders that they're responsible for. And finally, in this new era, Copilot. As an AI, uh, an AI that is a real-time collaborator in your workflow, and it can help with streamlining work order creation, optimizing technician scheduling, uh, accelerate responses to customers, and suggest next steps with intelligent recaps. Now, as we begin our featured discussion, I want to take a few moments here and talk about the field service personas. In our field service personas, we have the customer, dispatcher, frontline technician, and our field service manager. However, for today's discussion, we're going to be focusing mostly on the frontline service manager, the frontline technician, and the dispatcher. So with that, let's jump into our field service manager. The field service manager is a busy persona. He begins his day with a quick review of his team's uh, work order assignments. He prioritizes tasks, taking into consideration the technician's expertise and job proximity. Throughout the day, he uses field service application to keep track of ongoing work, ensuring everything is running smoothly. He communicates with customers, providing updates on service progress and answering any questions that might arise. The field service manager is empowered by field service copilot and copilot helps him with streamlining work order management. The new field service work order experience provides a much easier navigation 
of work orders, which saves him time and enables him to, to focus on other critical tasks. And with that, I'm gonna jump into our first demo uh, here. And let me just bring up my computer. Now, I'm gonna log in to this persona as Tyler um, for, for demo purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a browser. And in here, you'll see that I'm already logged into Outlook. So once I have uh, Outlook open, you can see that this email uh, is from Claudia. And the email is telling us about an issue she's having with an HVAC system. After reading the email, I know that I probably should create a work order for the issue. Now, I could go into field service, create a work order, copy and paste one, one to the other back and forth, but that's time consuming and I really wish there was a better way to do this. Well, with field service um, add-in for Outlook, we now can create the work order straight from the email. So if you look up at the top of this email here, you can see this little field service icon. I'm gonna move my mouse over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the field service icon. And what it's gonna do is it's going to then prompt me to log into my Dynamics 365 environment uh, that has field service, right? So I'm gonna log in again as Tyler. And once I do that, you can see our first example of our Copilot integration. So Copilot here is going to look at the email and it's gonna make a suggestion saying, hey, this is a new email. Would you like to create a work order from it? In this case, yes, I would. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Once I do, what it's gonna do is it's gonna go back in the background and it's gonna contextualize all of the data uh, within that email. And it's gonna populate the uh, fields in the work order based off of its findings. Now, I recommend that you're always the human in the loop, so I'm gonna look through this and I can see that the priority is urgent. I can see that um, it's pulled out the right service account. The work order type is good. Uh, incident type is for the HVAC system. And it gives me a nice little summary there at the bottom. Everything looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Now, once I save that email, it's gonna go back through into Dynamics and create my work order. And now it's gonna give me that success message and there's my work order that was created. Now pay attention to that number 00227. We'll use it again here in a few minutes. Now, right from here, I can change any of these fields that are being presented and save it again, which would update the work order. I don't want to do that. I know this is urgent for Claudia, so I want to go ahead and schedule it. So I'm going to go into scheduling. And that's going to go through on the back end and it's going to find the best available technician that can service this specific issue for Claudia. And there you can see it found Tyler. So I'm going to go out and take care of this issue. Now, looking at the, uh, the scheduling options here, everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, go ahead and book this schedule. And so again, it's gonna go through and gives me that message that it created that booking. And now again, I have this, the, the scheduling showing up um, and notice down at the bottom, now I have a reschedule button. Again, if I need to make any changes, I can do so from here. One of the other interesting things that I wanna point out from here is if I leave this email and I come back to this email later on, Copilot will notice that there is already a uh, work order that has been created from it. And it'll give me the option to either modify that work order or create a new one. For those purposes of this demo, I'm gonna stop here and we'll proceed back in and talk about a few other things. So let me get back the presentation slides here. And, and now we're back into our presentation. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the field service work order experience. The, the work order experience has been completely redesigned to bring forth important fields such as status, priority, and booked resources. Managers can make uh, updates in line without losing context 
or they can open up the fully redesigned work order form and make changes. Frontline managers can move uh, work orders through the process with dynamic cards and stay up to date with intelligent recaps. And with that, I'm going to move into our second demo and let me bring my desktop back over here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my browser again, but this time I'm going to go into the field service web application. Okay, so here is field service. And I wanna go take a look at our work orders. So I'm gonna navigate over to our work orders. Now this is that new work order experience that I was talking about. So you can see it looks completely different from your standard uh, or the, the older work order experience that we had. There's some really neat features that occur with this. And so if I gives me a lot of information just across the screen at a glance, but if I wanted to make any changes to a work order, traditionally you'd open up the work order and then go in and edit the fields. Here, I can do something a little different and I can click this little icon right here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up a fly-in from the right side and you can see that it now opens up this work order um, form here. Now I can go through and I can modify any of the different fields here and then save it and update it. Um, but I don't wanna do that from here. And there's a specific reason why I wanna drill into the new work order experience. So let me bring up that work order experience and right here. Now that I'm in the new work order experience, I just want you to kind of look at this for just a second. And you can see that you know it looks different from what we had before and these dynamic cards like bookings is now showing me that i am booked to go out to assist claudia on this issue now as a field service manager there are times where i may want to be able to have a little bit more information about what's going on with the work order but i don't have the time to sit there and look through all of the different tabs and fields and so I want something to give me a summary. And so with Copilot, which is our second uh, um, lay-in with Copilot here, um, in that upper right-hand side, you can see Copilot and a generate button. That is the intelligent recap. And so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna hit generate. Give me a second here. And what it's gonna do is it's going through and it's starting to look at all of the tabs and fields for this work order. And it's going to summarize that into this summary so I can quickly get an idea of what's going on. The important thing to notice here is that this is a point in time summary. So if I come back in and I modify this work order and um, add something to it and regenerate this response, it'll give me another snapshot in time of what is now going on with that work order. So you can get updates from this. You can use this um, also for like customer informing, uh, uh, you know, to inform the customer of where we're at in the solution that the, the work order is for. Um, you can also, you know, use this in, in, in several different ways. Okay, and so with that, I'm gonna move back into our presentation. Give me just a second. Okay, and so now I'm gonna move from our field service manager persona and I'm gonna jump into our field service technician persona. So our field service technician kicks off his day looking at his work orders in all the new Teams integration. With all the details at his fingertips, he finds that his routes to his work sites have been efficiently planned for the day. He then reviews the customer information and equipment history before arriving at each site. He also values real-time collaboration, allowing him to consult with experts or share insights on complex tasks. His day is really a balance of hands-on work, customer interaction, and the use of technology to provide top-notch service. Now that we have an understanding of the field service technician persona, let's discuss 
the field service features that makes his work easier. So frontline workers often spend, spend time on site looking for things like contact name, asset location, uh, and, and so on before they start their work. Copilot allows them to quickly search and look up necessary information needed to complete the job. This improves a first time fix rate. When the uh, frontline worker encounters a complex or unfamiliar problem that requires additional expertise, he now can seamlessly collaborate uh, with remote experts by accessing uh, remote assist via the Viva Connections homepage in Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to play a, a short video here that kind of showcases this. It's also going to delve a little bit into guides. Our integration into Viva Connections gives Darren an at-a-glance view of his workday, ensuring he has all the information he needs in one place. Here he can see his upcoming work order at Contoso, and he can also access Remote Assist if he needs real-time help from an expert with live video annotations. Partnering with Tasks, we can give Darren the ability to drill into the finer details of his work. In his work order, he can view information like location, billable hours, and can even easily generate an invoice. Darren clicks into the map to direct him to his next work site. If Darren needs help on the job, he can quickly connect to an expert via Teams. The integration lets him share his work order with his colleagues to provide context. He can also call for support with Remote Assist, which is integrated natively into Teams. He connects to M, who works all the way in Dallas. Hey, how's it going? Looks like you need some help with this HVAC system. Yeah, you know, I'm new in this area, so I just want to... I can easily discuss the problem and draw on top of the live video. This works on most in-market Android or iOS phones. The spatial annotations are locked to the physical world, which means Darren can move around while the annotations stay where they were placed. With all these tools in Darren's pocket, he can confidently complete the job the right way the first time around. We have completely updated the field service mobile application, which features a new mobile first experience, which enhances the frontline workers ability to locate critical information, real time data and remote expert assistance while on the go. In the user interface, you will also see a new booking and work order management experience, navigation, improved touch targets and familiar swipe gestures to accomplish tasks. And it jumped on me, so I'm pulling it back. Sorry about that. The new mobile application also launches faster and has several other performance enhancements. Frontline workers can now launch a guide that associates, uh, sorry, frontline workers can now launch a guide that is associated with a work order service task. The guides contain step-by-step -step instructions that help the frontline workers resolve issues and greatly increases first-time fix rates. And as a bonus, if you've ever created guides for HoloLens, those can also be used on the mobile device. Now we're going to jump into the um, dispatcher's persona here. The field service dispatcher is someone who coordinates field service operations. They're responsible for assigning, assigning and scheduling the right technicians to the right job based on the technician's skills and availability and location. They also monitor and they also monitor the progress and status of jobs and can communicate with customers and technicians throughout the process. Resource scheduling and optimization, or RSO, is a field is a is an advanced field service um, component that automates jobs for scheduling. Uh, this ensures that they have the right personnel, equipment, and facilities that are all assigned to the task. 
One of the capabilities of RSO is the ability to support multi-day operations. Now with that multi-day opt uh, multi optimization, our field service dispatcher can improve long-term resource allocation, increasing efficiency and reducing operational cost. And let's face it, schedule disruptions happen all the time. And just a few examples of those, right? So um, I've got uh, a customer that calls up and cancels um, a work order, and that leaves a gap in the middle of the day for a field service technician. Or I have um, traffic congestion that delays me from getting from point A to point B, which then delays me to that next scheduled meeting. So how can you handle these events? Well. In field service, dispatcher have, the dispatchers have an arsenal of tools that they can use, one of them being single resource optimization, or SRO. So SRO can provide a quick way to re-optimize resource schedules, routes, or utilizations. So another, another way that they, they can um, help, um, help that scheduling process along. And then the last couple of points here I wanna discuss are within the work hour calendar enhancements. The dispatchers can book resources based on overlapping occurrent reoccurrences. This allows for your resource to have greater flexibility by overlapping resources within a week to meet business demands, multiple uh, reoccurrences within a single day to represent recurring shift work, ability to input work hour events in different time zones, which helps the, the workers who travel. Oftentimes, dispatchers need to move quickly between different date and time ranges uh, on the schedule board. Now, the dispatcher can use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out to change the date time granularity. Just as an example, when you're, um, sorry, a little glitch on my side here. Just as an example, when you're looking uh, at, at the weekly view on the schedule board, you may need to quickly zoom in to the hourly view uh, to see the start or end time of a particular uh, booking, right? So, and our last one that we want to talk about is the multi-day view. So on the top, you can see the older or current behavior and on the bottom, you can see the enhanced view that we have. Um, this allows dispatchers to more accurately determine resources availability and utilization with that multi-day uh, updated view. As we draw to the end of the presentation, I want to pause one last time. We've invested in fueling AI innovation for years and have spent decades of research and development. We're committed to advancing the principles um, and practices of responsible AI and have built purpose, uh, built security and trust into our platform for and all of our solutions right from the start. We've created purpose-built AI infrastructure to deliver reliability and performance at scale based on thousands of interconnected GPUs and InfiniBand networking. And as a result, we are trusted by AI leaders like OpenAI and many others. In fact, OpenAI builds and trains all of their models and experiences using the unique AI infrastructure of Microsoft Azure. This innovation is exciting but as AI is poised to transform our lives, we must collectively define new rules, norms, and practices for, for the use and impact that this technology brings. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are at our last slide. And as we come to a close, I want to take a moment here and say thank you for attending today's webinar. I'll draw your attention to the screen and the links that are on it. 
we have placed these links here in case you want to learn more about customer service, field service, Microsoft Responsible AI, or um, the Microsoft Data Protection Policies. Now, I know Kat and I, we have a, a great time putting this together for you all. Um, and I will leave you with this. Until we meet again, stay curious, keep learning, and most importantly, stay connected. Now, at this time, if you have any questions or comments, we're happy to address those through the chat channel. All right, guys, I think you guys have handled most of the uh, questions in the Q&A panel. I just wanted to give everyone a thank you in advance for taking our survey that is posted in the Q&A panel. If you haven't taken that, please just take a brief moment to give us your feedback and let us know what you'd like to see in future events. Um, attendees, as a reminder, you can access the recording via the same link that you used to register for today's session. That should be available on demand within about 48 hours. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to Kat and to Keith today, and of course to our audience for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you may be.